As the Kitchener Rangers season winds down, I thought it would be great to take an opportunity to catch up with the overagers from this year's team. So here we are at the Rogers TV studio, uh, and I'm thrilled to be joined by Simon Motu from the Kitchener Rangers. Simon, thanks for coming down here today. Thanks for having me. Uh, okay, so let's talk about how you came to the OHL, because a kid from just outside Chicago, um, you have a choice to stay in the U.S. or come to the OHL. Why did you choose the OHL? Uh, I think it had a lot to do with my, my old agent was... Uh, really loved the way that OHL develops young players and I think I had a few teams interested I didn't know much you know being from Chicago is not really you know many kids that go the OHL route so I didn't know much uh, I think Jacob Pearl came the year, or came to the OHL the year before me so I talked to him a little bit but um, agent just praised Kitchener and he said it was unreal I saw videos I saw you know how you know he had other players that went here so um, that's the main thing of how I came came to Kitchener so it was videos you never actually had a visit I never, to the odd came to the odd my dad came to the odd with my oldest brother Max for a hockey tournament but other than that never been here what do you remember about your first game oh so nervous uh, my family was up or my dad and mom were up and I just remember like we're playing Saginaw they were really good at the time um, a lot of good players and so uh, I knew I wasn't get that many shifts being a 16 year old going against guys like Cole Perfetti I'm like probably not gonna happen yeah. uh, but you know first shift got an assist and then uh, after that I mean we won the game so it was unreal. You talked about what your agent uh, told you about what the OHL does for players so now as you come to the, the end stages of your career what did the OHL do for you in terms of your progression, both as a player and a person? Uh, maybe more mature, for sure. Um, going away from home, um, you know, living with other families. Uh, so it definitely made me grow up a little bit. Uh, but it just made me, I feel like, a better person. You know, meeting new guys, new personalities, learning every single day, every year or two, and just trying to be better. So, I mean, it, it did a lot for me. You talk a lot about your family and uh, your siblings and your dad. Um, how hard was it to be away from your family to come here? Uh, at the time, it was hard. Uh, I, I obviously cried when I hugged my dad and mom goodbye. But um, you know, once I got settled in, it was like a second home to me. I didn't really want to go back. Yeah. What is what's so? I mean, I, I'm Italian. My family is super important to me. What is it about your family that makes this connection? Because you talk so passionately about your dad. I remember you telling me a story about being able to bro drive with your brother home right around the Christmas break. Yeah, uh, family is so important to me. I'm the youngest of five. Um, you know, my oldest brother, Max, just got married uh, this summer, so that was fun. Um, he's been, you know, I've looked up to him. You know, he was the first person to put on skates in our family, so I looked up to him, tried to follow in his footsteps, did a little bit better, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then my sister, Emmy's great. She's, uh, she's tough. I mean, only girl in the family, so you gotta be tough there. Uh, and then Zev, uh, Zev's my best friend. He, uh, he's in the army now. Um, he's off doing some training, so I haven't talked to him in like a month, but he, uh, he's my best friend and he's, you know, the person that, you know, I'm not the man I am today without him. And then Asher, Asher plays goalie. Uh, I just hung the skates up from club, so uh, I always get to shoot in him in the summer. He always comes out to my skates, so he still will. I'll make, a, I'll make sure he still does that, but uh, Ash has been alongside me my whole career, so you know I got fortunate to play with him for one year. But other than that, it was, it's been really great. Is it true that your dad still tells you, sends you his stats from when he plays? My dad, when we talk about hockey, my dad goes, "Hold on here." I uh, he's the fourth winningest goalie in Indiana University history, which is for everyone who doesn't know, it's club yeah. hockey. Yeah. Um, so it's not top it's four not though. Great. It's yeah, top, it's four. top four. Top yeah. four. So my dad, um, he has been with me every single way, all the ups and downs. I mean, I can't, uh, I can't speak enough of him. He is, he is my rock. Um, you know, my mom too. She's, uh, she's a nutritionist, so she makes sure my diet's on point. Um, she's not as. Uh, Hard on me as my dad is when it comes to hockey. She doesn't know much, but when it comes to other things like nutrition, sleep, she's pretty tough on me there. So you talk so beautifully about what your family means to you, Simon, and then you come here and you've got to go in with an entirely new family. The billet family system is something that everyone has to adjust to, and you really won the lottery with uh, with Rick and Janice, so maybe you can talk a bit about what it's like to be part of that family. Uh, Rick and Janice are probably the two most important people in, in my career since I came to the out. Those. Uh, I'm gonna cry, but those people are just, they are, they are the best people ever. Um, I have never met two nicer people in my life. Uh, we rip each other, we joke around each other, we play cards all the time. They are my biggest supporters and they also keep me sharp when I have a bad game. They, they let me know too, or if yeah. I missed it out a little bit, but 
You know, in the first part of my career when I wasn't playing much and, and doing a lot, they, uh, and you know, obviously you, you come here to play hockey and when you're not doing that as a rookie, it's tough. They, they made it so, so easy for me and I couldn't do anything and, you know, without them. So they are the best. Bill at Brothers, you've had Francesco Pinelli and Hunter Brustevich, both of whom I know you were super tight with. Uh, that's quite the family unit you've got here. Yeah, uh, Che is uh, is Italian, so him and Rick got along pretty well. Me and Janice and were the two matcha cakes. You so. had our curry in there for a half yeah, a season, we too. Yeah, curry in there, too. I remember you said there's too many Italians in this house. You yeah, told me exactly. that. exactly. <laughs> so way too many. Uh, it's Even now, you know, with Hunter, two Americans against two Cana Canadians, but uh, me and Che, we came in together as 16-year-olds, and, I mean, we had a blast here. He is... He's a great person, great human being, and you know he's my brother for life. So I, I'm very fortunate. I got that time with him. And Hunter too, American. He uh, he's way more nicer. You know we don't chirp as much back and forth as me and uh, me and Che did. But Hunter's great too. Um, you know I'm happy I got to have a roommate for last year too. Let's go back to uh, the rink, okay? And let's talk about the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium, the Odd. It's a uh, it's a pretty special place. Uh, what does that place mean to you? Maybe when you're Behind the door, you're ready to come out for the game. You hear the fans. You hear the kids out there calling for you. You hear the music. You know, what does this place mean to you as you're taking the ice? Well, the fans are tremendous here. I've never seen anything like it. Um, I think first game here, everyone's like, yeah, there won't be a seat that, you know, someone's ass isn't in. And I walk out, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. You know, coming from just your parents watching you to, yeah. like, 7,000 fans, all the history when you walk through, like when we do jogs through the rink or walk through to go see your parents, you see all the history and the, on the beams and all the special players in the Raptors, especially from uh, Sunday's game too. So it's, there's nothing like it. You know, junior hockey, people say is the best time of your life and that's for sure. You recently got an opportunity to see the 1982 team as they <laughs> reunited here with the Memorial Cup. What sort of motivation did that team give you and maybe even seeing that trophy give you? Yeah, seeing the trophy was obviously unreal and, you know, all those guys are just historic. They all, you know, ha more than half that team went on to have NHL careers. Um, definitely one of the best teams to come out of the Kitchen Rangers yeah. for sure. And, you know, when Brian Bellows was, was talking uh, to the crowd, said the, you don't really remember the plays on the ice as much as you do the memories you create off the ice with the guys. And that really spoke to me because, you know, he's right. That's what yeah. you remember, you know, after, you know, it's all said and done. You don't remember a play you made your 16-year-old year. You remember all the memories you had with uh, your teammates. Yeah, on the ice, we're going to remember that Carson scored his 50th goal yeah. in overtime. <laughs> but for me, I'm going to remember that right after that moment, the entire team skated over to that corner and pointed up to that yep. 1982 team to acknowledge them. I thought that was really classy. Yep. Um, Simon, one of the things I've learned about you in our time here is you're a natural born leadership leader. Where does your leadership skill come from? Uh, it's gotta be, I gotta give credit to my brother Zev. Um, he's been a leader and captain of his teams all the way through. Um, and you know, he told me a good leader you know, obviously talks to talk, but you got to walk the walk too. And you got to do, if you're asking someone to do something and you're not doing it yourself, how can they look you in the eye and be like, and listen to you? So I think the biggest thing I took away was just, you know, not as much talk or, you know, you know, you know, try and talk to the guys and make them better. It's more just go out there and, and try and show through hard work and just try and drag the guys. And I think, you know, I'm the type of leader where it's, you know, I like having a close team. You know, I don't like having a rookies and like vets. I like, you know, we have a great rookie class here and they're all great guys. So having them be just a full team, I think has done wonders for us. You talk about those rookies on your team. So I'll ask you specifically about Cameron Reed because you spent most of the year as defense partners with him, defined D partners all mm -hmm. year long. And you guys have really brought the best out in each other. Um, is this the best or your favorite D partner that you've played with here? And, and what can you say about this guy and what the future holds for him? A hundred percent. I, I love Reader to death. That kid is unbelievable. Not only is he just a tremendous skater and a great player, but he is so great to just talk with on the bench and go through plays. And, you know, he'll come up to me and he's like, hey, man, sorry about that pass. I'm like, <laughs> dude, you just went end to end. Like, are you, are you serious? Yeah. Like, he is, he is so mature for his age. It is ridiculous. I mean, he's, in my opinion, should get the C you know, soon as next year or whenever. This kid is going to be a, one of the best players in this league starting next year. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I think the future is very bright for Cameron Reed. And I think a lot of why he was so comfortable this year on the ice is because he had you as a deep partner, Simon. I really, really lot. believe that. Um, okay, so the OA deadline passes in January, and it's official. You breathe a sigh of relief. You're going to finish your career as a Kitchener Ranger. 
it's the only jersey you've worn in the OHL. What does that mean to you? It's crazy. We were all talking like it's, it feels weird. Like some guys get traded more than once to different teams and all that. And it's uh, wearing that Ranger jersey throughout my whole career has, has been phenomenal. I think from the day I stepped foot in Kitchener, I've always wanted to stay here. It's just, you know, from the fans, from, you know, the food, the restaurants, from the city, the town, just everything, and just all the guys here, it's it's phenomenal. Yeah, I think your teammates, the LeBlancs, have played on 25% yeah, of the league exactly, right now, and yeah. you ended up just the Kitchener Rangers. Yeah. Um, so you, Matt Sopp, Mitchell Martin, three overagers, yeah, but three really good friends. Yeah. What is it about the bond the three of you have? Uh, we all just like joke around have a, and have a great time, and we're all hard on each other too, and uh, we never let each other get away with anything, so it's nice. I mean, I've known those guys, you know, since rookie camp when I got drafted out of the O. I was roommates with Sopper and sometimes with Marty too, and it's just uh, you come close to those guys, and, you know, after the rink you spend, you know, they're your age, so you, you connect with them yeah. the most, and you spend the most time with them. So uh, those guys are my brothers, and I love them to death. So at the time we're recording this, it's before the playoffs have started. Regular season hasn't ended yet. So I'm going to preface this question by saying this answer might change by the end of the year. But up until this point in your career, what's your favorite moment with the Kitchener Rangers? I mean, this is tough. Um, I'm going to go favorite moment. I think we did history last year. No eight, eighth seed has ever swept the first seed. So that's got to be one of my favorite moments, especially at home. Too. At home. Those two games at home, I've never... In my whole career, I had the atmosphere like that ever, and it's it was ridiculous. So doing that in front of your home crowd is is phenomenal. What about your favorite goal that you, Simon Motu, has ever scored? Oh, that I have scored. Um, well, that I haven't scored, obviously, teaser scoring OT. That I have scored, um, I want to go with... After COVID that year, we were playing Guelph and we needed, we we're like fringe playoffs. Like it's a really close yep. battle. And I got on, it was in the power play, like the last minute of the game. And Angelo Blanc gave me like a cross ice pass and I scored for like the game winner. That's probably the most yep. electric goal I've ever scored. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, okay. We'll wrap this up with a couple, uh, couple more questions. Uh, picture 16 year old Simon Motu. He's getting in the car, he's heading to Kitchener. You know nothing about the OHL. Now, with all that you do know about the OHL, what advice would you give that kid? Um, take a deep breath once in a while. You know, 16-year-old year, I, you know, I've never been scratched before, never done all any of this. So, you know, knowing now that like you're gonna get your chance, just you know, do what you can do and control what you can control. I think that's the biggest advice. You know, you think so much about getting drafted, getting points, all of that, and it's just so much for your head. So I think just like taking a step back, just doing what you can do to be better every day. Um, I think that's the biggest advice I'd give to young me instead of focusing on all the little things. What does it mean to be a Kitchener Ranger? Uh, it means the world to me. I will always cherish this town. I'll always come back here in the summer as I was telling all the guys and I was telling my builds. I'm like, if you guys don't think I'm gonna be coming up every summer, like. Uh, you guys are stupid. I'm going to come up, visit them, see all the guys, you know. Basically, everyone here is Canadian, so and they all live in a close area. So it would be nice to come back and, and just see everyone. And just, this is family to me, this whole town and, you know, all the people in the rink. It's, it's home. You're going to be doing a lot of alumni interviews with me, I guarantee you. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, listen, I don't know where hockey's going to take you next year, uh, but I'm excited to see where it does. I know Rangers fans are really excited to follow your career from here. Wherever hockey does take you, I know you've earned... Uh, a lot of fans here that are going to be rooting for the upward trajectory of your career. So, Simon Motu, thanks for everything you've brought to this city and to this team. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. You're the best. Simon Motu.